My name is Henry Brooke. I was a lawyer and a judge for nearly 50 years. I retired 10 years ago, and the month after I retired, I had a letter from Susie Baskin asking me to a PBI event. I wanted to help because it was obviously something which was well worth supporting. It, in a sense, it was a new area for me. There were very, very brave lawyers uh, risking their lives for their clients, and there were these remarkable volunteers going out to assist them. And if there was any way in which I could help uh, galvanise interest in the English human rights world in what they were doing and to provide more support for them, well, seeing as I was completely retired, that was something I could do. I support PBI because the work they do is such important work. I can think of few things um, more difficult, but also more important than defending, than um, accompanying and protecting um, people at risk of violence who are defending the human rights of, of um, other people, often very disenfranchised people. Because the first thing you realize is how comfortable your existence is and how easy it was to hold those principles because it uh, effectively cost you nothing to do, to do so. Um, I think it's only natural that, you know, that privilege makes us a bit complacent. And I think it's useful for us to, to uh, understand the work of others, not only so we can uh, as, as essentially see what we can do to try and assist them in the difficulties they experience, but also so we can uh, recognise and understand how important the rule of law uh, and the framework that we currently enjoy is and how important it is. Look at, a, look at your fellow human beings and um, think that could have been, that could have been me. I, I, I think the familial pressure would be such that I, I wouldn't be able to, to do it. I, um, I just am in awe of, of people that can uh, work under those pressures, really. It must sometimes feel very lonely. And I hope that through PBI and the Alliance for Lawyers at Risk um, and the various other networks that, that exist internationally, I hope that they do feel that they are supported. Uh, seeing how effective that kind of protection can be and how um, reassuring it was to the people who we, we were accompanying that they had PBI uh, with them and with PBI's network of um, international network of protection behind us, um, you know, it really meant that they could do their jobs. And I think all we can do is sit back and acknowledge uh, that that's a level of commitment we do not have um, and ask him how can we support you? You know, think what you would do, think how you would want people to act if, the sh if you were in the situation that the human rights um, defenders are, are in. I wish I could do more. Uh, when I meet a human rights defender or, or a lawyer facing threats of any kind, my brain starts going into overdrive. What can we do to support? Uh, even though we feel inadequate in doing them because uh, there is the, there is uh, no direct way in which we can help. That duty or that belief that we can continue working towards the rule of law and human rights should remain like a guiding light within yourself. The budget that's been given to human rights work is constantly under threat. A lot of people say, well, why should we bother with that? Uh, we have other things we need to do which are more important. Well, it's difficult to think of anything which would be more important. Hold on, hold to that, because that will serve you to support uh, other fellow lawyers and human rights defenders around the world. It will serve you to see that there is the need to have the solidarity link with those fellow lawyers and, uh, and human rights defenders. So for the first simple reason is, uh, it is a benefit to those human rights defenders and we should listen to them uh, and, and do uh, the things that they would like us to do. And in that way, we will be making a contribution 
to society. The most you could say is that uh, we, we, we are all supposed to be as lawyers committed to the rule of law. And therefore, we should be committed to support those colleagues who try to function in states where the rule of law is either very weak or non-existent. And uh, we should all be putting more resources into that. And I think that this kind of support helps them to ensure that their motivation to make a difference and to defend human rights is shared. Uh, I think one should try and reach out to lawyers in other countries and give them support when one can, both financial and, and in practical ways. Lawyers in the UK um, do have the ability to make donations. I know that NGOs in Colombia and also NGOs in the UK are particularly short of funds at the moment. The situation is very dire for them. So as individuals, we can do a lot, even if it's just a few pounds each month to support people. So just let them know that we stand with them, that we are supportive, that we know about the struggles that they're going through. The, the real meaning of commitment to principles and the, and the cost of of showing that commitment, even though you are not required to pay that cost yourself. Uh, and I think people will benefit themselves from that also. We should do that in whatever way we can. We should do it by supporting PDI. We should do it by supporting the work of the Alliance. We should do it by going on delegations. We should do it by writing letters and contributing to legal opinions. And if we can't do any of that, we should do it by giving money to PBI and to the Alliance. I, I've decided to put up £10,000 um, towards this cause, but I would love it to be matched by um, those in the audience tonight. So I would just ask um, whether you would consider um, putting up some money to enable um, me to release this £10,000 that I would love to see PBI have to do its good work.